Remember when you guys are finding the inverse of a function? Uh, basically, all you guys are going to be doing is replacing the f of x with y, right? And then swapping the variables. x equals 3 over y minus 2. You guys get the benefit, because the other kids already took the quiz, and this was one step that a lot of kids just even missed, and they had to get marked down. So please, if anything, guys, if, even if you're struggling with this or you have like one of those mental blocks, please at least swap the variables, OK? Now we need to solve for y. But y is in the denominator, so we need to get it off the denominator by multiplying by y minus 2 on both sides. Since that's a number to denominator, those divide out. I can distribute this x. So I get yx minus, um, actually, you know what? I'm going to leave that. Yeah, you could distribute that, but I'm actually going to show you how it not distributed. So that's pretty fine. Let's leave it as not distributed. OK? Now, all we simply need to do is, is solve for y. So I could have distributed that. Um, but in this case, what I'm going to do is just a little, you're going to get the same answer. But I'm just going to divide by x on both sides. That divides to 1. Now I'm left with y minus 2 equals 3 over x. Then I'll just add a 2 on both sides. So therefore, I have y equals 3 over x plus 2. But guys, are we finding what the equation is equal to y? No, we're actually finding the inverse. We're finding the we're finding the inverse of the function. So we've got to make sure we're using correct inverse notation. And therefore, we have f inverse of x equals 3 over x plus 2. OK? All right. So one last